Hey guys, so this is Miss Chenoweth, and this is part two of working on a relief sculpture of a character. And I just wanted to get some of this started a while, and then I'm just going to go into a couple uh, more details. So here I've started, and um, just a basic technique for um, working with paper mache. So what I did here was, and this is what I would highly recommend that you do since it's kind of a small sculpture, I'm making like three piles of material. So I have kind of like these like little tiny pieces. So when I get in here, I want to do some details like in the face and stuff. Um, so I can help show, you know, what she looks like and all that kind of good stuff. Um, or when I want to wrap around here, wrap around this fork, I have some little pieces. I also have some medium size uh, strips that I've torn and then lastly I have you know some bigger um, longer strips so it's good to have all that torn um, at the beginning because once your hand gets into the paste and your hands get messy um, you don't want to have to go tear more paper so prep your stuff first prep a lot of it um, it's only you know newspaper so if you have too much it gets thrown away no big deal all right so basically real simple technique so I'm using excuse me bigger pieces on larger areas so I'm just gonna dip and squeegee with my two fingers wipe my fingers on the side and then I'm just gonna start building up certain areas all right and you just kind of smooth it out with your fingers um, I do find that sometimes I get like kind of like pretty big puddles with uh, the paper mache so when that starts to happen when it starts to puddle up I can take my brush and sort of just clean up and sort of come like this and come back around and just sort of clean it up and remove some of it if it gets too puddly. All right, so I'm just gonna continue to build and build and build and build and keep laying it on um, until you know I have a couple layers thick, all right? Um, when I'm doing small details, so you want your smaller detail-y pieces, um, you know, I'm going to do that fork. So maybe that maybe that's a good size to start with, actually. Um, I got enough here. And I'm just going to, you know, do like a smaller detail -y thing like this. Wrap it around. Yeah, maybe I'll go this way. That was being a pain in the butt. Okay, I don't like that little piece at all. It's not being nice. So I'm going to move and... Uh, just start, maybe go with a bigger piece here. Okay, so just take your time. You know, I thought it would be cool to have the fork kind of sticking up like this and sticking out and not have it attached down there. So we'll see. It may work, it may not. And I'm just going to keep building. Okay, so generally speaking, you want to get like at least three layers of the paper mache, strip some newspaper in layers. Okay, kind of like this. And just pushing things to get it to the shape and form where you want it. Um, and then the other th cool thing that you can do with paper mache is you can sort of sculpt with it. So I may take several pieces and um, when I get to, you know, maybe sculpting a nose, what I'm going to do is just kind of like shape it um, and then put it on here, sort of like it was a piece of clay. Um, and I can just sort of build it out like that. So I can build sort of like shape and form this way. All right. If I want to, um, I'm thinking I want to build up sort of more like the brow bone right here. And it's always great to have your paper towel handy so you can wipe your hands off. I just want to zoom in here a little bit. Um, so I'm going to just kind of keep pushing on here. Um, and if the newspaper is not working so well, you can also use paper towel to get maybe a little more fine detail. So what I want to do now is just start showing you a little bit on how you can get more detail. So I'm just using the small pieces, and then I'm just going to crunch it and start molding and shaping little shapes. So I can start to get the shape of a face. All right, 
righty. A few more pieces. I've got enough glue on my hand, so I'm not even going to dip it in the container. Um, I'm going to, you know, maybe even try to shape sort of like mouth or lips. And I know that this is kind of small. Might be a good idea um, to work maybe a little bigger. All right, so I'm just going to start working on little tiny details there. All right, so I'm going to continue with this, and I'm going to stick with it. And then um, I will share with you later kind of like what it looks like once it's more finished and I've had more time to spend on it. All right. All right. So have fun with this. I hope you um, enjoy it, and I hope you have the time and patience to put up with it because, um, again, it does take a lot of patience. Um, if working this small is not enjoyable for you and it's, you know, getting too difficult, so you can kind of see sort of like the shape of the form of the face starting to come through, um, you know, work bigger. So just, you know, work at your skill level um, and have fun.